Hi, this is Susan, and this is tutorial number six for WordPress. You'll see that we're on the plugins page, and in the past week, uh, preparing for this next tutorial, I've upgraded the IT's blog to the most current version and installed a bunch of new plugins that I want to show you. So you'll see that we're on the plugins page and some of the things that I have um, installed are dynamic widgets and Facebook like box and recent tweets and the social media widget tiny mice advanced and we're going to go through each one of these um, so let's start with going to the widgets page And you'll see that um, when you install dynamic widgets, it puts all of your little widgets, each one of these, in a sidebar panel. But now you're going to have the ability to determine on what page each of these should appear. Um, so you can, you'll see that I have the social media and many of the other ones static and for this purpose um, I changed the text that I'm using as a little announcement on the home page as dynamic so that it only appears on the home page and on all the other pages um, it's not going to appear so let's look at the widgets I'm going to load that and you'll see here is sidebar one and it shows all the things that I've loaded in the sidebar from this side and so the way that the dynamic widgets works once it's installed is you pick the one that you want to uh, adjust let's say this one and you'll see that now under each of them you have dynamic widgets and before it said static which meant that it would be on every single page but I changed it to just being on the home page so now it's dynamic and we're going to click on that and I'm going to show you okay so when you click on it you'll see that it opens the dynamic widget menu and it says show widget to everybody yes and then I go down to the pages and it will show all the pages that are on this site some of them are galleries um, and you'll see that I only checked off the home page and so I just save that and you'll see it'll tell me that it's been saved and that text is now only going to appear on the home page and on every other page it's going to go right from the social media widget down to the Facebook widget okay so next we're going to talk about the social media widget so once you install that and it appears over here and you click this open and you'll see it gives you a full menu um, where you can pick what size icon you want and all the empty spaces for you to type in your URLs for Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn your email um, YouTube whatever you want and then you just save it and it will show up as the little icons with your address attached then this one is the Facebook like box widget and you can open this up and you can put your URL in right here of your company Facebook page 
And then you can actually change the size from the default so that if your uh, sidebar is smaller than the default, which I think came in at like um, 285 or 275, something like that. Um, I changed it to 225 so that it um, fits nicely in my sidebar. Uh, this is the header. So in other words, uh, do you want it to say, um, follow me on Facebook? Um, you don't really need that if you're going to put this in. So, um, and you can, you know, change anything you want, standard buttons or um, color scheme. And then you just save that again. And then you have that. The same is here, recent tweets. Um, it's very simple. You just put in what you want the headline to say, what your Twitter handle is, how many tweets you want to be shown, and save it. And uh, let's see, next we're going to go over the gallery widget, which is pretty simple. Uh, it's just gallery show thumbnails and you can determine how many you want it's going to, always going to depend on how many galleries you have and um, what size those thumbnails should be to show all the galleries and then you just save that next we're going to go to posts because I want to show you um, the the, uh, the plugin that I installed for um, it's called tiny mice and uh, actually, let's go. Let's go to Tiny Mice first. Um, once it's installed, you'll see under Settings that you have Tiny Mice Advanced. And what this does is it, it activates a whole bunch of really cool um, added toolbar uh, items that you wouldn't have had before. So now it gives you the font size, um, and you can in, you can put in all kinds of other things. Like for example, uh, maybe I want this table in the future. Might want to put a table in. Um, how about styles? Put styles in and try that out. Anyway, so you can you can play with this and add a few new things, and then you just save the changes. And then when you go into posts, and let's say we'll add a new post. It's now going to load all of those um, menu items. Check it out. So now we have styles. And we have font size. And let's say I want to put a table in. It will now give me the option columns rows, cell padding. Okay, cell padding means, um, you know, how many pixels do you want uh, there to be like a safety area around, um, let's say, if the picture or the text is in the center of that cell. So cell padding means um, giving it like a little extra space. Uh, what the alignment's going to be, no border, and we're going to make this table uh, 650 pixels. We don't need to determine the height because the height will be determined by whatever we put in the boxes. And so we just say insert. And there we have a table. Now let's say we want to determine that the table, all the, all the um, items we're going to put in here, instead of being flush left, we want them to be centered. So we click on this one, which determines the rows and the alignment. So we're going to say centered. And we're going to update that. 
See, now we can insert something that's centered. This is a test. And you'll see the table moves as I um, type in this. And now, because the same thing is on the left and the right, it should be even. But you can always determine the um, cell size from left to right. Six hundred and fifty pixels. So let's make uh, three twenty-five. And now each side will be 325, which is half. And let's use our new font styles. And make it 14 point. And make this one 14 point. And that's Tiny Mice.